Hi. Hi. Adjust height here. There we go. <laughs> Better. Woohoo. So this video is late. Very late. I spent the day uh, prepping all my Thanksgiving food and then just kind of completely blanked out life. But we're here now. <laughs> and uh, I didn't know what to do for a video topic today and then the mail came. That's always the best inspiration for a video. Oh, yes. And this time, we got an accordion in the mail. Yay. <laughs> this is the Weird Al squeeze box. So, ta-da! We ordered it a long time ago. Thousands of years ago. I'm pretty sure it's nigh on a year ago that we <laughs> ordered this. And uh, they only made them to order, so... And it actually accordions. Yes, it, it's a, an accordion. Accordion folder. It is filled with, to my knowledge, every Weird Al album. Yes, it has every Weird Al album. We got the CD version, so it looks like it comes in record album covers, but on the back is a CD. So, yes. The other nifty thing is this has a special CD that is unique to this set, which is oh, way in the back. <laughs> this one back here, Weird Al Medium Rarities, rare, unreleased, and other assorted music from the archives. So it has a whole bunch of demos. So there's like the Yoda demo, My Baloney, or My Bologna, capital single version. Dr. Demento Jingle, Pac-Man, whole bunch of stuff. So that was cool to get. And also the picture is just funny. Come on. Ta -da. So yeah, there's that. And I'm a pretty insane Weird Al fan, so this is definitely an awesome gift for me. <laughs> We're going to be going to see Weird Al in... June. Is it June? Oh, it is in June. <laughs> God, this summer got busy. <laughs> Lots of things this summer. I think like a week after that we might have a wedding to go to. <laughs> and then, yeah. Yeah. But yes, I really enjoy this. I don't know if... Oh, and... Also comes with collectible book. Yes, on the back, suspended in, is this book. Weird Al squeeze box. And the inside... Okay, first the inside cover is just... Uh. <laughs> I don't think he's looked at it yet. I haven't had much time. I've just been playing video games since I got home from work. So, it's just a whole bunch of pictures and whatnots. Uh, it's a lot of behind the scenes and promotional stuff, which I think is cool. And I'm sure he'll be drooling over for a while. Because who doesn't? It'll be read from cover to cover. Well, there's not too much reading to do. It'll be experienced from cover to cover. <laughs> Yes, experienced. And then, yes, the front and back cover both have that trippy design, so there's that. Want me to put it back? Sure. Try our best. Well, I did it from the other direction when I looked at it earlier. Uh -huh. But there we go. He is neatly suspended back in. Yay. I don't quite remember how much this cost, but it was his uh, early Christmas present last year. It was over a hundred bucks. And supposedly there's a t-shirt on the way, unless it's hidden somewhere on here. Uh, we got an email saying that the memorabilia that would have come with it had to be shipped separately. Because the box this came in was heavily styrofoamed, and it was plastic wrapped, and yeah. And the, the snaps on the side bit me when I was trying to open it the first time. It was just... <laughs> And I think you said that they still had copies of this in the record one for sale? Uh, just the vinyl one. I got an email this morning from Pledge Music that they are going to sell on Black Friday a couple more of the vinyl sets of those. So, if you're a vinyl collector... I can't remember if it's ever mentioned on this uh, channel before, but my father collects thousands of records. So, if you or someone like that exists, and it likes Weird Al, they would probably... Very much appreciate this set on vinyl. Yeah. I don't even know how to work a record player. Really? I know, right? As a kid, my mom had, for me and my brother, this little 
Play School, I think it was, or Fisher Price uh, record player, and it came with hard plastic records, like you could hit someone mm-hmm. with them, and you could play it, and it had the little notches. So my brother and I were started on cassettes. I had those. I remember I was excited when I had my own little player. <laughs> we each had Walkmans, which uh, were actually far too heavy to actually strap to your belt and take with you. You had to hold it, otherwise it would just fall off your pants and explode. That makes sense. Uh, anything else cool happen this week? Mm, played through uh, the latest South Park game. Yes, he has finally beaten the... South Park Fractured game. Uh, he is downloading Wolfenstein the New Colossus right now. Ooh. Which means I won't be able to upload this on internet. Black Friday! Which means this has to go up on Wi-Fi, which will take even longer to go up. And I'm pretty sure that Amazon's going to have Wolfenstein for like five bucks off or something. But uh, at least this way you won't have to worry about you know shipping and discs and stuff. Because I worry about that. You worry so much. So much. Uh, my world news is I play a stupid phone game called Love Nikki that I've stupidly sunk money into. No one should play it. It's apparently too good. It's very addictive. I can't help it. Uh, he's trying to get me to play uh, Style Savvy on the DS, and I did the demo for it, but for some reason I find it easier to put $30 into this phone game than it is to buy the $30 other game. And I don't know why. Because the money just goes away into cyberspace and doesn't seem like it was real anymore. I haven't spent my allotment for the month, though, so I have to live, figure it out. And then tomorrow is uh, Turkey Day, so hooray! For all of you who celebrate Thanksgiving and cook the meal, you'll understand my pains. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I guess you don't live in America. Well, have fun watching the parade and... What? What? (laughs) There are people in America who don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Really? Yeah. That's not America, man. (laughs) Should I break your heart and tell you the story of Thanksgiving is all a lie? (laughs) Oh, I'm sure it is. Anywho, there's still a Macy's parade and football, and if you don't live in this country... In my country... You'll, you'll still get to experience all the Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. Yeah, oh my god. Because, you know, the world economy. I did try going out for Black Friday once with a friend. Uh, we were at Walmart, like, at 1 a.m. when it started, and that was a mess, and I'm never doing that again. I've gone out in the afternoons. Those aren't so bad. Go to Target and pick through what movies are left. We've gotten good deals that way. Go to Bath & Body. But we probably won't even leave the house this year. Just eat all the leftovers. Your cat's going to eat a guardian, by the way. I know. <laughs> They're hungry, and they don't understand that they don't get fed for another hour. And so instead of, you know, being patient, they try to eat furniture. Geniuses. But, I don't know, do we have anything else cool to talk about? I don't think we do. Not that I know of. <laughs> I had to take the bottom layer off of our uh, Christmas tree because uh, our one of our cats was eating it. So they still chew on it now, but it's harder for them to get to, so they don't do it as often. So, yay. Ooh. And I rode my exercise bike this week. And then I hurt myself. Whereas I'm just enchanted by the... Uh newest Xbox One software that just keeps giving me, like, advertisements every few seconds. Like, what's going on? It's like, you're not playing enough Xbox. Buy more games. He's easily amused. But, uh, I think we'll call that a day. And I don't know if I'll post on Friday, but I will try, because maybe we can talk about the things we bought or something. If we buy anything. Otherwise, uh, I can recount all the cake I ate. That is such a happy cat. Yeah, she's so angry that I won't let her eat the weird L-box. Uh, I just thought we have to cut their nails. Joy! 
So, we will go. And you have a great Thursday or Thanksgiving. And hopefully I will see you Friday. Bye, everybody. Bye.